Cool. So just for example, now everything's like kind of sounding good on its own. Levels are a little bit here and there, but let's let's like let's make this whole thing slam. Let's go back in here, see what's going on with our bus. The snare is absolutely drilling that. Um, I kind of want to try something really crazy. Let's go like super extreme on this thing. Which flavor do I use? I kind of want the blue stripe. Maybe I don't though. We'll find out. Um, let's see. Let's just play it without. Something transparent. This is going to add too much color. Yeah. Let's do the... They have basically the free one that comes with it. It's the uh, Ellen. Yeah, this one. Basically doesn't impart the the uh, little nuances of the hardware, but it still acts like the hardware. So you kind of it's kind of like a cleaner signal. By the way, let's change the attack. let a little bit of those transients slip through. Hold on. Let me hear what this sounds like now if I bring the snare way down. Definitely hear all the warmness sticking out, and it's probably too much, but I kind of want to keep leaning into it to see where it'll take me here. So I'm going to keep messing with this. I like it. I like it. I like the glue that's happening. It's really dramatic, but I, I'm not. I'm again. I'm still kind of into it. I'm gonna start removing a little bit of that low mid uh, that I added, and just see if I can find like a nice like medium. Okay, one more thing I'm noticing is I don't have a lot going on with my kick. I'm gonna get some flavory stuff going here. Let's kind of brighten all this up. I don't need to dull it just yet. Sounds a little overly dull to me. 
um, and this will help. Just adding, basically adding some sizzle, like uh, uh, with the new settings on this is all I'm going for here. And it, it needs it. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, delete this. Cool. Um, and one more thing, I like to use this plugin called. Let's see if I installed it. Track spacer. It's pretty cool. It crashes on me sometimes. Let's see if it loads. Cool. This is just a, nif a nifty little sidechain thing. And what I like to do is sidechain my snare to my kick so that it ducks some of those those uh, low mids where the snare hits so that when there's busy stuff happening, the snare always trumps the kick, basically. So I'm going to like set some kind of threshold, let's say like around 100 or so, and probably around eh, like 400 is fine, and probably like pretty high ratio. But let's figure it out. Let's route it first. So turn on side chaining, and then I send my snare, yeah, to the kick. Same thing here. And then let's see what it does. Like already I'm just getting this really subtle ducking that's happening that's that's like just helping bring clarity to this jumbled mess that I'm creating right now, which is part of the struggle with like a fast song. Like I know the BPM is only like what, 148? But it's like such a punk beat song. It's like you barely get a chance to breathe. So clarity is gonna matter a lot. And I'm adding a lot of low mid energy, which a lot of people would consider mud. But I wanted to have the body and I wanted to have the speed. So I gotta do one of them first. So I'm gonna start with the body, which is we're almost there. already sounding pretty cool to me. I feel like there's clarity that got added to the kick just by having the snare on top. I can't even place it. Because part of me wants to boost the highs a little bit more on the kick. Um, maybe I will. This EQ's not even on. No wonder I'm not hearing it. I was like, where is the kick coming from? Man, I'm boosting this thing hard and not hearing it. That's crazy. All right, cool. That's way better. All right. Now I can actually bring the volume back down or kind of bring the highs down a little bit. I'm just like amazed at how that, that low mid energy like brings that snare out. It's a pretty thin snare without it. I kind of want to show you guys that one more time. Like, check this out. That's insane. I'm not even adjusting the gain. I'm just adding low mid energy. It's like night and day to me. I'm, I'm actually really pleased with that. The kick is a little clicky. I want that clarity though. I'm gonna leave it for now. The guitars are definitely gonna busy it up. Last thing I wanna do, um, I want to get a little bit more, well, maybe I'm good. I wouldn't mind a little more high on the toms, but maybe I'm okay. That's pretty great. I'm even pretty dang happy with the way these cymbals are sounding, but let's let's do some basic. Uh, I did skip the EQ on these. Let's like take a listen. That's a lot of gain reduction that's happening. I mean, it doesn't look like much on the GUI, but that's like 10 dB of reduction pretty consistently. Um, get that EQ off there. I just want the flavor. I actually don't even want this tape sim on there. It adds weirdness to it. And the snare, I do miss a little bit of that body now. I could actually get the same body using DF Clip right here. Check it out.
just a little bit more of that room and now I can actually bring the room back down. Uh, last piece of the drums for now is just the snare accent. This is just meant to be a massive room. So I'm going to start by treating it the same way I did the snare. So I'm actually just going to like, let's just copy these settings over for starters. And then let me kind of bring it back to zero and make sure that it's being sent. I actually don't want to do any of these sends. It's in addition to not the same. So let's, uh, let's hear it real quick. Already pretty awesome. Cool. A little bit of warming that's going on here. Might even be too much. Let's bring that down. Cool. And then let's get like, I don't know. Get like our verb or something on here. Let's see what we can make it do. Um, let's see. Just give it like a haul. Let me hear this. I mean, that's kind of what we're going for. Um, let's hear it in context real quick and just set a level. I like it. Maybe even take out a tiny bit of that, that low. I could, might just EQ this just a little bit. Whoops. Ooh, I might take that out too. Cool. Oh, I treated the wrong track. My bad. Ah, let's go back to this. Cool. Almost there. I, I like it sounds like it's in the back of a garage or something, which is basically what I want. Just the, that metallic y, like, here, I'll turn it back down now. A little too much there. So that's fine for now. We've got it at least in a spot. Let's start to introduce the bass. <laughs> 